Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to do slow motion and we're using DaVinci Resolve version 15. Probably 15 dot something something something, but we'll just call it 15 because that's what it says when we load the screen. Okay, first thing we're going to do is actually import some media. So we're going to go to the file menu. We're going to go to import file and then we're going to go to import media. Or you could use that shortcut of control I. Next, we're going to grab this shark clip here from a local petting type place. Um, it's going to ask you if you want to keep the frame rate of the settings or whatever. We'll just say don't change. Next, what you're going to do is actually grab the clip, left click on it and hold it, and drag it down here into the timeline. It's going to automatically create a video and an audio timeline for you. Okay. If you want to expand the length of the clip so you can see it better, you can hit this plus here. You can minus to make it smaller. You can also increase the size of what you see here in both audio and video. All right, so let's go ahead and shrink this back up a little bit. Next, go ahead and grab your scrubber here and get to the point where you need to slow it down. Mine is right there. You're going to right click and you're gonna turn on the retime controls right here. Or you can do control R. Okay, what that's going to do is actually show you the speed of the clip. And at this point, the whole clip is at 100%. And from here, you can actually slow down this whole clip by clicking on the down arrow here and going to change speed. But we don't want to actually slow down the whole clip. We want to slow down a certain portion of the clip. So at this point, make sure the scrubber is actually at the point where you want to start your slow motion. You can hit that down arrow again, and you're going to add a speed point. Okay, from there, you're going to grab your scrubber and you're going to move it to at the point where you want to stop it from being slow motion and that looks like a good point then you're going to go back to your arrow here or you can go here and you're going to add another speed point okay now let's let's expand the clip a little bit here again this is not this plus minus is just changing the size of what it looks like on the timeline not anything to do with the video itself it just makes it easier for you to see basically all right so now from here to here, we have these two markers and we have a new drop down here. So we can control the speed in between these points and the other sides will not be affected. We're gonna go ahead and click on this down arrow here. Then you're gonna go to change speed. Then we're gonna go ahead and change the speed to something slower than 100%, so it'll be slow motion. I'm thinking about 25% because I really wanna see this in slow motion here. And 10 would probably be just a little bit too slow. So let's go with 25 here. And you'll notice the area has expanded. Just like other editing software, when you do slow motion, that area gets bigger. And when you do fast motion, it gets smaller. So I'll go ahead and start just a little bit before and let's have a look. Okay, so you'll notice that the clip actually went normal speed and it kind of ramped down to slow motion and then it kind of ramped up to normal motion and there wasn't like an abrupt change so the software actually has a little algorithm that does something nice and fancy and it looks pretty cool there's actually a more complicated way to do that but this is a beginner's tutorial and we're not getting into that okay and of course during this time here that sound is going to be slow motion too so you'll have that weird sound but for me I kind of want it to be there so what you want to do if you want to delete the audio separately is you right click and you uncheck link clips. You can actually delete either one of these separately by hitting the delete key or the back key on your keyboard, or you can right click and delete selected. So the shortcut is backspace actually. Okay, let's do control Z to bring it back. If you wanted to only delete that one section in the slow motion area and maybe put some music or something different, you can actually click on your razor blade tool here or hit the B key and bring your razor blade to the point where you want to actually cut it. Then at the end here as well. And next to get the pointer back, you either hit the A key or you go ahead and click the icon here and it'll tell you exactly what you need to see, that A key. So just remember that B is for blade, A is for the pointer because it kind of, let's just say it looks like an A. So that'll be easy <laughs> to remember, I guess. At this point, we can actually just bring the sound on completely or you can actually click on it and delete so you'll have nothing let's do control z a few times to bring everything back to the way it was 
And basically, that's it. That's how you do slow motion in DaVinci Resolve 15. All right, I want to thank everybody for watching, and as usual, we'll see you in the next one. Peace and aloha.